so let's talk about the Justice League. Wow. Finally, it's out. Um, I saw the movie um, like a week ago. And finally, I'm going to do the review. Um, in my point of view, I think it's better than uh, Batman vs. Superman. Um, but that's it. Let's go right into the movie. I'm going to talk about directly about the movie. So if uh, you're going to see the movie either today or tomorrow, don't watch the video and then see the movie and then come back so you can, uh, you can see what I'm talking about. Or maybe you guys have the same point of view that I have from the movie. Um, the first 45 minutes of the movie is garbage um that's the reason why marvel did solo movies first and then they did the avengers the first 45 minutes because i timed that the first 45 minutes of the movie is nothing it's just a bunch of stuff thrown in your face it's too many too many stuff happening in 45 minutes they, they did too many jumps in 45 minutes. They jump from one place to another place to another place to another place. Not stop. Uh, literally, you're gonna get crazy in the first 45 minutes. Then after that, the movie gets more interesting. Like, it's supposed to be one of the best DC movies ever, um, but they messed up in the first 45 minutes. Um, overall, yes. Superman is back. Uh, we see a couple of Green Lanterns. Yes, Green Lanterns. We see a couple of them. Um, I believe Chesam was in one scene. I really can confirm that D was him, but I believe it's him. Um, but overall, after the first 45 minutes, I think the movie was good. I think the movie was really good. Um, it's not gonna top um, Wonder Woman. I don't. I don't think so. Um, but uh, the the movie has a a lot of up and downs. Um, like I say in, in my first um, review of the movie, it has a lot of uh, ups and a lot of downs. Um, I really like the way that they brought back Superman. It was a genius way. I would have loved that to that scene when Superman comes back alive and he's fighting the other Justice League guy, uh, uh, guys. I love that they stand that scene at least 20 more minutes. Solo fights. That was amazing. Um, Flash and Aquaman, they hilarious. Um, I see a lot of potential for a Flash movie. A lot of potential for a Flash movie. Um, Aquaman. Woof. Another solo movie that I know is going to be amazing. Now, I don't see a solo Batman movie. like I don't think it's going to work like the previous solo movies of Batman. Um, I don't see Ben Affleck by himself doing a two-hour movie. Um, that's another thing. I think the, the, the movie was too short. Um, I believe... I, I Well, based on what I know... During the screening that I saw, um, someone that that uh, that was in the theaters that I spoke to, I'm not gonna say from where, uh, for what company he works, but he told me that probably we're gonna have almost an hour of footage, um, in the standard edition of the uh, Justice League. So that means that we're gonna have probably the same problem that we had with Batman vs Superman. There was a lot of amazing footage. Uh, of the movie that they, that it didn't make the cut for the regular version of the movie that we're gonna that we saw in theaters. Um, again, you have Green Lantern. Uh, you have uh, they mention uh, um, uh, a lot of people that they're gonna be in the future of DC. Uh, I don't remember the names right now. But overall, it was a really, really good movie. Uh, I, I was surprised. I thought it was going to be completely garbage, like Batman vs. Superman. 
but they they did I, I half of the movie is good the other half is not good that's in the way that i see it um they have two end credit scenes so the first end credit scene is funny because you you see that type of scene in the uh comic books and you also see that type of scenes in the cartoons uh to me that was hilarious um now the second end scene the second end credit scene oh boy we finally got uh we finally see deathlock uh i was surprised in the way that they did it but at the same time i was not surprised because les luthor also was there um, and now I see a better Les Luthor. I don't know, maybe because we saw for uh, when you see the end of the crazy scene, uh, maybe because you're gonna see him for what, like two or three minutes? But he sounded like more calm. And what he said, the line that he said uh, in, in those two minutes, it, it, it brings a lot of memories from, from the cartoons where you saw the bad guys against the good guys in DC. And the same screen. Um, I'm excited for the future of DC, but I think they need to stop rushing up the movies. I don't think they should do another Justice League for the next four or five years, maybe more. I think they should focus on solo movies like uh, Marvel did, and then do the Justice League because uh, they really waste 45 minutes of footage that really nobody cares the first 45 minutes um I, uh, one more thing if you don't know about the comic books at all you really not gonna understand the movie you're not gonna understand what's going on if you're going based on i mean they bring a little bit of information from all the dc movies but if it, if it, you're not like really into it you're really not gonna understand the movie. Basically, they did a movie for really hardcore fans, um, not for the normal uh, normal people that go to see the movie because of the title or something like that. Um, I like that they put um, Wonder Woman looks better, um, way better than, than than her solo movie, way better than uh, Batman vs Superman. You can see a different Wonder Woman in this movie. Uh, we could like you're gonna see the different side of Wonder Woman. Uh, Batman, um, they show a different Batman. They show an old Batman, um, the type of Batman that, that is. In, I forgot the name of the comic book that you see that he's getting old, and he's not able to keep up a little bit. Uh, Superman has a new suit, kind of. Uh, and one of them and, and I think in one of the last scenes you see that the suit has some lines and stuff like that I really like the suit of flash um, It's really cool um, I hope they do some type of trans um, some type of suit like that for the um, the TV show as well um, Aquaman really 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 good. I'm excited for to see the solo movie. I think that solo movie is gonna be really good um, Cyborg. A lot of people um, complain during the all this time of seeing the trailers. Oh, the CGI is gonna mess up. The CGI for Cyborg was really good, on my point of view. Um, it was really good. Now, when it comes out to um, Clark Kent and Superman's face, sometimes you you see the CGI that they really they try hard, but they didn't um, fully the uh the whole transformation when it came down to this part of his face um but overall i think uh the movie um is good is better than um batman versus superman um i hope everyone agrees with that um but it's not gonna be the top dc movie it's not gonna be the top dc movie um, I really like uh, the end credit scene because it bring back a little bit of Suicide Squad. Um, so let's see what they're gonna do with that. 
it's a lot of potential now. It's a lot of good stuff that can come out of this movie. Let's see how DC is going to handle this. Um, they have a lot of good scenes that they can use and for future films. Um, but I think the next Superman movie, which, by the way, they already been saying for the past few months that it's going to be a solo, a next, uh, another solo Superman movie. Uh, soon, I think in the next two or three years, um, but it comes out with Batman. I don't, I don't think so. So, based on the end credit scene of um, the Justice League, I believe s somehow they're gonna make another um, Suicide Squad movie, and um, that's how everything is gonna begin again. That's how all the bad guys are gonna get together against all the uh, the good guys. On one point in the in the um, last. Um, crazy scene i was hoping to see the joker on on that crazy scene, but i said no it's gonna be too much in one shot um but overall um i think we all need to give this movie a chance and see it we all gonna have different opinions about the movie i know that my opinion is gonna bother a lot of people and i know that a lot of people also gonna agree with me um but I think we should support the movie. I, I think DC had, they, they had one chance um, to make it work. They made this movie work. Not for the first 45 minutes, for the rest of the movie. But I believe that they, they have the chance. They have the chance to make it happen. Now, I think they should learn from Marvel and don't rush. Don't rush to do the whole team movie. I think they should focus on those solo movies and then when they feel that they're ready, they should jump and do the next Justice League. Justice League. Um, please, um, I hope you guys enjoy the movie the same way that I did. Um, when it comes out to how many stars I can give this movie, wow, I, I can say it's a three and a half. It's a three and a half. Um, I give um, Bama vs. Superman 2. Um, so I think three and a half is the right number for um, the Justice League. Uh, I'm excited about a lot of stuff that happened in the movie. We saw Green Lanterns. I believe that was just Sam there. Uh, they talk about Dark Side. Um, it was a lot of good stuff. A lot of the small things that they show that I believe it, it, they should extend it a little bit more. Um, instead of wasting the 45 minutes that they waste in the beginning. Um, but I mean, I, 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 I see a future on DC. I, see, I, I believe DC, um, now that they did this movie, which they introduced the new superheroes, I believe they have a chance. Uh, again, let Marvel do whatever they're doing right now because Marvel is in the top right now. Uh, Infinity War is just a few months away. Um, let Marvel do what they do and DC learn from them. Because they did this. They, they did what you're trying to do right now. They spent 10 years. 10 years to do Infinity War. You guys took what? Like 3 years or 4 years to do the Justice League? I think that was a, too short. That was too fast. Um... um that that's all I can say. I don't want to give more stuff away. It's a lot, a lot of small stuff that happens, like how they bring back Superman and stuff like that. It was genius. Um, but yeah, uh, please like the video, share the video, subscribe, um, leave some comments. Let's talk about uh, the Justice League, and see you guys next time.